Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau promised to legalize recreational marijuana use in his 2015 election campaign and new legislation will let adults grow, buy, or possess small amounts of marijuana as of July 1, 2018. Under the new law, private or government retailers will be able to sell marijuana and licensed producers will be able to grow it. The Canadian cannabis black market is estimated to be worth between 7 billion cordobas, dollar billion, and 10 billion cordobas a year, with rates of youth use among the highest in the world. Analysts expect it will take time for legal trade to push aside unsanctioned competition. Fantino and his partners, a former Royal Canadian Mounted Police officer, a former fire chief and a former member of parliament, are promoting their company Alifia which provides patients with authorizations for medical marijuana, as well as other medical services. Medical marijuana is already legal. Fantino said he would absolutely be pursuing the business even if Canada was not legalizing the lucrative recreational industry. The Canadian Broadcasting Corp introduced an interview with Fantino by noting he had once compared weed to murder. Other ex-cops are getting into the business side of marijuana. Former Deputy Toronto Police Chief Kim Derry has been involved in medical marijuana businesses since 2012. Derry is president of Metscan Canada, which he said provides security for about half a dozen marijuana growers. He expects that number to grow once recreational production becomes legal. From a background of criminal activity, I certainly know how grow operations operated in the past, Derry said. I know all the pieces through a chain of supply, where there's weaknesses. The government's effort to legalize marijuana is headed up by another former Toronto police chief, Bill Blair, who succeeded Fantino in 2005 before they both turned to politics. Blair said retired police officers have been getting calls for advice on medical marijuana production since related laws came into effect in 2013. I think many are being sought out for their expertise in public service and regulatory law and security around these things, he said, adding he does not think it's unseemly for police officers to make money off cannabis. For me, it's entirely consistent with my life's work and I wouldn't comment on anyone else's history or motives. Pot possession remains illegal until July and Canadians continue to be prosecuted for it. 17,733 people in 2016, according to Statistics Canada. Studies have found marginalized communities are disproportionately targeted. The government is developing ways to track each marijuana plant from seed to point of sale and test for quality. It has yet to draft detailed advertising rules or finalize tax levels.